Hi, Rob here. What we're doing today is we're uh, taking a door out of the sidewall in the garage and we're going to put in a solid wall. Let me show you the project. Here's where a door used to be. I probably should have showed you the door first, but at any rate, this used to be a carport and then the previous owner put in um, the walls and that's why there's no you know, concrete stem wall at the bottom. They just put the uh, two bys right along the old pad, concrete pad. And I'm just trying to match that. But there was a door here and I've taken it out and then I've reframed it and put the sheeting on. Now let's go outside and I'll show you. What's going on is this is a stucco has been applied to the old wall. And so here's the exterior. I've got the the door out. I've got it framed like I should do the inside. I have the new sheeting on and I have the stucco chipped back uh, here on the carport side. On the house side, they had just stuccoed up to it and then they had a trim board over. So I, that's not disturbed. My partner's cousin, he's going to redo the stucco. He's a retired stucco man. So I'm getting it prepared. But we got a bunch of issues going on. We had a French drain put in last year, as well as the drain for the uh, downspouts. And this uh, membrane here, it goes up against the house and then down underneath the French drain, it's back filled with gravel. So I gotta figure out a way to get that membrane attached to the concrete so that's a watertight seal. Because in other areas of the garage here, the way they you know, redid the old carport, but if the, when it rains, water sometimes gets underneath the plate. But at least in this area, I'm going to seal it so water won't get under there. What I'm going to try, I'm going to use some of this uh, door and window adhesive sealer. Also going to use some of this flux glue um, adhesive. Bond seals repairs, it says. And supposed to stick to concrete, plastic, vinyl, wood, everything. So I'm going to put a little flex seal here on the concrete and then on this uh, French drain membrane. Put the tape over it and hope that I get it on the membrane, concrete, and up on the wood. And if I have to, I'll do some silicone caulking on either end here. So I have water tight seal and I don't want any water to get under this plate, at least in this area. I've got this uh, moisture barrier cut that, that goes between the uh, French drain and the foundation. I have it cut just down below the concrete floor. It kind of overhang a little tiny bit so it fits underneath. And then I have some adhesive on it to hold it against the concrete until I put the waterproof tape but I, I was using this flex seal but I'm not too crazy about it because it's kind of thick so I got me some liquid nails and I'm just going to tack tack a little liquid nails on the concrete and on this uh, moisture barrier just to help the uh, waterproof tape the door and window tape to help it stay on and I'm going to do that all the way down to the end of the garage carport here so that's the next step is to put some tape on. I already put some here just to test it, but I'm going to put tape from the uh, moisture barrier on up onto my siding so that I have a water barrier and I won't get water underneath my wall. I've got the vapor barrier pushed up against the house and I got the uh, adhesive and the waterproof tape installed. So now I'm ready to put, put a little bit more rock on top of the French drain here and then lay the fabric back over and then I'll spread some rock and I'll get back to my uh, area of stucco wall. I've got the drip edge installed for the stucco. Now the next step, here's the drip edge. The next step will be to put uh, the building paper over the sheeting. To meet code, uh, it requires Two layers of building paper, and this is the, the 60 minute paper that already comes uh, in a roll of double thickness. So I'll go ahead and get that attached and then we'll move on. I've got my building paper all installed and now I have it sealed around the edge. I use some of that 
window door weather tight tape and some uh, silicone around the edges and top. And then over here underneath from the um, original stucco in the house, I put a bunch of silicone to seal that. Didn't want any water getting in there. I'm ready to install the metal lath rather than going with the, uh, the chicken wire from like from the original because that only comes on a 150 foot roll. I'm using this metal lath because it comes in like, I think it's 26 by eight feet. And I did a lot of YouTube and Google research. And in one direction, this feels rough. And in another, it feels smooth. And so you want it so it's rough when you're pulling your hand down. That'll just help, help hold the stucco in place, the scratch coat when you put it on. But then I was trying to find out if it should be spaced away from the wall or not. One guy with 30 years experience, he just used roofing nails and nailed it on a six inch pattern. And then another guy, he used these uh, nails with spacers and he did a six inch pattern just on the studs. I even went to the manufacturer's site and all they talk about is a six inch pattern. They don't talk about spacers or no spacers. But being a civil engineer by trade, I know that if the metal is in the middle of the stucco, kind of like, kind of like the existing, well, it's hard to tell there, but the metal is pulled away from the wall and it's more in the middle than on one side it, it'll just be stronger so I'm going to use these nails with the uh, spacers and go on a six inch pattern on the studs and in between because this has half inch sheeting under it I was having difficulty using uh, those trying to get those nails the hits through the screen and the screws no way will the head slip through. So I came up with this idea. I got some galvanized quarter inch nuts. They're about a quarter inch thick. Being galvanized, they'll last 10 times longer than zinc. And I can just slip it on my uh, magnet here and slip the nut up under. And then I get the screw through. And then to set it, I just take my hammer, just set it, and then I'm able to take my drill and attach it. Now, if I was doing this as a contractor, no way would I do this. It would take forever. I wouldn't make any money, but just being a DIY, DIY guy, I think this is a better job because the, the lath is away from the wall. So it'll be stronger stucco and last forever. I have all the metal lath put up using the lath screws, six inch on center with a quarter inch galvanized nut behind it for spacing away from the wall. And I have the lath overlapped two inches to meet code. We got a drip edge and we're all ready for the, my partner's cousin to come tomorrow and start doing the stucco. My partner's cousin was here today and got the scratch coat on for the stucco. And he said he was going to finish it today, but he said, no, it's too wet. So he'll come back in two or three days and put on the final coat, I guess the color coat. So we'll show you what it looks like after that. My partner's cousin is done with the stucco work. Here's the finished product. He said to let it uh, dry a couple weeks and then we can go ahead and paint it to match the color. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.